Hello guys, today I wanted to um, show you some videos uh, about the fuel consumption of this car and the electric range. Um, I have some people who came to me and said to me, you know, that uh, how much, uh, how, what is the mileage that, uh, the range that you can do with this car in pure electric mode? Uh, because my car, of course, is not what it is advertised. It's not uh, 50 kilometers for the uh, electric range, and it's uh, surely not 1.5 liters for 100 kilometers um, uh, in a mixed uh, mode, uh, in a hybrid mode. So, of course, in in reality, this car is uh, in summer. It's very important to precise. In summer, I can do around. 35 to maximum maximum 40 kilometers uh, so uh, the electric range around 40 kilometers which is not too bad actually it's not too bad of course i'm not using any uh, air conditioning or anything so it's around 40. when it's in winter i am more around let's say 30 uh, 30 to 35 maximum uh, kilometers uh, for the range in winter and of course, this is without using the um, the uh, heating. And uh, if I am using the heating, uh, the heating, well, then uh, I am more around, let's say, 25, uh, 25 uh, kilometers range, uh, pure electric. So this is really not a lot. So of course, like most of the people I had a discussion with, they say that they do not use the heating. Of course, they only use the um, seat heater, the seat warmer, which works well, quite well, and it consumes way, way, way less. Also, I have found that um, uh, in the videos we'll uh, see after, I have made uh, some real consumption, real-time consumption with the different uh, modes. So we will be in uh, in the different ones. Now I don't remember. Uh, So I have made some videos with the hybrid auto mode, the hybrid hold and the hybrid charge. Of course, the owners of the facelifted uh, OD A3 uh, e-tron version, they do not have this mode as they took it off because it consumes way, 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 way too much. And you will see it in the videos. The videos that you will see are extremely short because I do not have a lot of road in order to make all these tests but uh, i found that uh, the short tests that i've done for you they are almost the same every time even if i make some long uh, long road trips it's around the same numbers anyway so you will not be disappointed um, the last thing is that it is extremely important to know that uh, this car compared to a normal audi a3 here is the uh, tank capacity so the normal one the normal a3 has a 50 uh, liter tank and the atron has only uh, 40 uh, liter tank so well it's not a lot but they had to make room for the batteries i guess now in terms of uh, long term uh, i am around i can do around 600 uh, 600 and 650 in summer around uh, kilometers uh, with a full tank so full electricity with of course a fuel uh, fuel tank uh, so i'm around six liters per 100 kilometers so it's it will be between six liters and 6.5 liters and i can do around uh, 600 and 650 kilometers which is not bad for a uh, 40 liter tank it's not that bad of course it could have been maybe better but it's not that bad so i hope uh, you will enjoy those uh, those very short videos and uh, you have a better idea of the uh, consumption of this car uh, one thing important to note is for the electric consumption unfortunately i do not have any statistics uh, on this because uh, it was all on the iphone app uh, the od app and um, they uh, they deleted this app they stopped the development and i'm not sure that in the other apps they also have the consumption 
Um, anyway, I made the calculation and everything seems correct for my point of view. So, um, uh, the consumption is quite realistic about what it is, uh, what is um, uh, displayed here. So here it's quite right, but of course it is very important to know that everything you can do can dra drastically change the consumption with the electric motor. And for the last thing I wanted to, to explain is especially in winter, uh, usually try not to go over 22. Usually I try to go around um, 21. Uh, first of all, in order to consume less electric, to spend less electric uh, the, the battery and uh, especially also if you do use the fuel engine if you go over 21 or 22 your car your fuel consumption will be very high i mean very high to be higher than if you don't use it but if you go over 21 it will use quite a lot more so anyway if you have any other questions feel free to post it to post them in the comments and uh, enjoy have a nice day okay so this is the fuel consumption uh, for the uh, hybrid auto mode as i have enough uh, battery it will not uh, use the combustion engine too much only if i accelerate uh, hard it will turn on otherwise it will stay like this most of the time now if we go to 80 as you can see here, it starts, the fuel uh, engine starts, and here, this, here is the consumption at 80 kilometers per hour. It should go down a little bit here. Okay, so this is uh, the hybrid, hybrid hold mode at 50 kilometers per hour. Now let's go to the to 80 kilometers per hour. And we're in um, in sport mode. And this is the consumption for 80 kilometers per hour, the real time consumption. Okay, so this is hybrid charge at 50 kilometers per hour. Now let's go to 